everyone so this is a collab video holiday glam with the beautiful Samantha D Riley she's hilarious I love her she's beautiful she's flippin funny and she shops like a mad woman I love her she has a special place in my heart and I'm so excited to be doing this look with her her look is flat-out fabulous and so go over and check out her video and if you are coming from Sam's channel thank you so much for coming over and watching my video <laughs> excuse me I am a little bit sick um, so if I am a little I'm a little bit tired too so if I seem a little bit slow I'm sorry <laughs> But anyways, this is mostly drugstore. Um, I recently got some drugstore items and I just thought, hey, hey, hmm, heck, why not? Let's try it out. So for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Nude Foundation. And I did a review on this a long time ago thinking that you were supposed to like wear this and then reapply every two hours. I was so wrong about that. So um, I even wanted to delete that video. <laughs> I really do like this foundation. It is nice. And for concealer, I used the NYX HD Concealer. And um, I used my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder for like underneath the eyes and whatnot. And I also... What else did I use? I don't know. Oh! Another thing that's not drugstore is the pigment that I'm using, which is um, Too Faced Glampire which is really pretty, and like the primer and stuff, but I am using the Wet n Wild Petal Pusher Palette, so I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yes, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in just a second. Okay, so we're going to start off using the Too Faced Glitter Glue, and this is just going to ensure that the pigment that I'm going to put on adheres well. Now I'm just going to use a little bit of this, and I'm also going to put on my NARS Smudge Proof Eye Primer as well. While I was doing the other eye, I noticed that a little bit of this goes a long way. And it's definitely, a, <laughs> it can get, um, kind of have to be a little bit careful with it because it can get a little bit goopy and I don't know if it's because mine's old or if it's just because it is a glitter glue I don't know so if I sniffle throughout this I apologize I am getting sick and everything Ugh. so now I'm just going to apply the NARS smudge proof eye primer and I'm just going to apply that right along the brow bone inner corner just to brighten everything up this is such an easy look and so if you're in a hurry and you have this palette well then you're in luck so we'll be using this petal pusher palette right here okay so if you have the petal pusher palette then you're in luck because this is a pretty easy look to do what I'm going to do is just go into this crease color and this color right here and kind of mix the two and I'm just taking a 217 brush so just a fluffy brush will do and I'm tapping off the excess so I don't get a lot of fallout and I got some on my head okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start on the outer portion of the eye and we're going to be doing kind of the sandwich snowball effect. So we're going to be doing so darker on the outer portion and inner portion of the eye. And then the pop of pigment in the middle. Ding! Okay. So I'm just going to work that in my brush. Now it is a little bit more difficult because of the glitter glue. So you kind of just have to take your time on blending. Just dipping my brush back into this lighter purple.
So I'm going to take a little bit of the brow bone color and I'm just going to soften it up and place that all over where I put the darker color. Just to soften that. Then I'm going to take a 224 blush brush, not a blush brush, and just blend out any harsh edges that I may have. And just keep blending until you get a seamless blown out look. So just kind of and I got this, you know, idea from my hair bow, the colors. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I'll just do purple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Fix Plus, I'm just going to spray this a little bit. And then dip my brush into the pigment. Tap off any of the little fallout that you might have. It doesn't really matter if you do have glitter on you because you're going to a, probably a glitterful party. Okay, so just stamp that on your eye. This will adhere to that glitter glue. And I just kind of center the attention of this right in the middle of the eye and just pack that color on and you can also use um, Lorac Luster Drops for this. This would be a great alternative. But in case you do have these and you're like, oh, what do I do with them? Well, here's an idea for you. So I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take the brow bone color which is just this really pretty white with a hint of pink in it and I'm going to put that on my brow bone this is also going to kind of soften the edges a little bit of that dark purple I'm going to put some in the inner corner Now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline eyeliner in Waterproof and I'm just going to line, I'm not going to make a cat wing or anything, I'm just going to kind of make it thicker towards the outer, <clears throat> excuse me, and thinner towards the middle. So now I'm going to put on mascara. I'm going to be using the Hot and Naughty Mascara. And I'm just going to use the soft end first. And then to build volume, I'm going to use the other side of it. Okay, so now I just put my eyelashes on my tweezers and I'm just going to plop that on right in the middle of my eye. Just kind of press them down with my tweezers like that. So let's go on with the blush and the lips and then our look will be completed. Alright, so now let's go on to the rest of the face, which I'm going to do a blush and the lips. My lips are a little bit on the chap side, so I used this really nice soft lips, um, blackberry and lemonade, and it's delicious. <laughs> and it feels good on the lips. They look a little extra red because I did exfoliate them. 
So for blush, I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Blush, and this is in the color Natural. And it's a really pretty pink. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be using Max Bino Dark Deed and this Lip Glass Cream Sheen in Art of Seduction. So I'm just going to be lining my lips with Bino. Kind of filling them in actually. You can definitely go for a nude lip if you want to, but... I think that wine colors go good with purple. Okay, so Dark Deed. And then I'm going to top it off with Art of Seduction. I'm going to put this on my finger because I don't want to mess up my nude <laughs> gloss. And it really kind of just gives it an extra punch of Kiss me, baby. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for coming over from Sam's channel and subscribing. I appreciate it. So welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy my videos and I'm happy to have you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.